If you're looking for a designated place to return an item, you may be searching for a long time. And that's not all you won't find at your local Aldi. You won't find grocery baggers putting your groceries in free bags at Aldi. If you're new to the Aldi experience, you might be taken aback by how quickly the cashier scans and puts things into a cart for you. This is because time is money, and Aldi times its cashiers. Employees can have quotas to meet as high as 1,000 products per hour, or even 40 products per minute. That comes out to a product every 1.5 to 3.5 seconds. Skipping bagging allows Aldi to hire fewer workers and move people through the lines faster. You can purchase reusable bags to bag your own groceries, but you won't find free grocery bags. By not providing free bags to customers, the chain doesn't have to tack on the price of bags to the price of your groceries. Plus, it's good for the environment. Alternatives include snagging empty boxes throughout the store to hold your groceries or bringing your own reusable grocery bags. You can even place your groceries into your trunk straight from your shopping cart. After all, you place groceries directly into your vehicle without a bag when you shop at food clubs like Sam's and Costco. So why not do the same at Aldi? Believe it or not, music can actually hold a lot of influence over what shoppers place in their carts. However, you won't find any tunes playing at Aldi, and there's a specific reason why. All the music that grocery stores play requires licensing, and licensing costs money. So for a store that has dedicated itself to keeping prices low wherever possible, paying for music just doesn't make sense. Nobody's hearing nothing. Licensing to play music can cost hundreds or thousands of dollars per year per store. With the chain keeping prices lower than the competition on most of its items, it makes plenty of sales without needing music to affect people's buying behaviors and decisions. Plus, the simple layout and fast cashiers get shoppers through fairly quickly anyway. The first time you visit an Aldi can be intimidating since the shopping carts are chained together. However, you can unlock and rent a cart with a quarter, which you will get back after returning it to the cart bay. You'd think a quarter wouldn't motivate people as much as it does, but you rarely see a stray cart in the parking lot. You may see a few carts abandoned near parking spots, but people snatch those free carts up quickly just to save a quarter. With everyone corralling their own carts and grabbing any free carts they see rolling around in the parking lot, there's no need for Aldi to pay employees to return them. This also limits the number of carts the store needs, since half the carts aren't sitting out in the parking lot waiting for an employee to bring them back to the cart pickup bay. There are some staple items you can count on seeing every time you shop at Aldi. Common groceries like butter, eggs, cheese, chicken, ground beef, flour, sugar, and standard fruits and veggies like apples and lettuce are always there for you. However, some of the other products are seasonal or limited time only. For example, there are some seasonal products you will only see in the store during German week, such as muesli, strudel, and tins of flavored herring fillets. You'll find the limited time only products in the Aldi finds aisle. Part of what gets customers coming in weekly is the excitement of perusing all the new items that show up in the Aldi Finds aisle and around the store every Wednesday. Aldi Finds is an ingenious way the chain tests new products. According to the company, several popular product lines started as Aldi Finds and are now part of our everyday selection, including the earth-grown line of vegetarian and vegan foods and Live G Free, the Aldi-exclusive brand of gluten-free items. So there's always a possibility you may see your favorite Aldi Finds items again. Some grocery store chains entice you to try new products by presenting free samples. However, there are no such offerings around all these stores. Uh, you promised free samples? Why cut into your profits by offering free samples when customers come in specifically looking for new products to try every week? The concept sells itself, and anything that doesn't move at full price gets marked down. Instead of coupons, you'll see all the discounts on the shelves. If you find a yellow price tag with red text, the item is on sale. Some products can drop below a dollar when they've been around for a while, and the store wants them out to make room for new items. There is one occasion where you might find free samples at Aldi, and that's on opening day at a new store. The grand opening is also when you might find coupons. With so many unfamiliar brands on the shelf, it makes sense for the new grocery store in town to offer samples and coupons so customers will try new products and come back again. If you're not picky about which brand you buy, you could conceivably get nearly everything on your grocery list at Aldi. The chain does sell some name brands, like Coca-Cola and Cheerios. However, you may not be able to find some other brands like Better Than Bullion, Hershey's Chocolate, or Heinz Ketchup. Since only about 10% of the brands at Aldi are name brands, you will usually find one of Aldi's products replacing the one you are familiar with. In many cases, you'll wind up liking the Aldi brand as well or better than the original. However, you may still need to swing by another store for products you don't consider an acceptable substitute. 
some of Aldi's brand items are made by the same suppliers as certain name brand products. For example, in a 2015 recall notice, customers learned that Bimbo Bakeries USA makes foods under the Sara Lee banner, as well as Aldi's Love & Fresh Bread. While you wait to check out your groceries at most grocery stores, you can entertain yourself with preposterous tabloid headlines or magazine covers. However, newspapers and magazines of all kinds are missing from Aldi. The company actually did a trial run of selling newspapers and magazines at around 40 stores in the UK in 2022. However, the experiment failed, and Aldi decided to not bother trying to sell newspapers and magazines. For a company that looks to cut any unnecessary costs, not selling newspapers and magazines makes a lot of sense. For one thing, people are getting more of their information online than ever before. Newspaper and magazine circulation has been cut in half or more in the last 20 years. And while publishers generally give credit for unsold magazines and newspapers, some require returning just the cover to get credit for the unsold copies, which takes up employees' time. There are actually two rival Aldis in existence in Europe, Aldi Sud and Aldi Nord, which represent Aldi South and Aldi North, respectively. These two competing entities exist separately because of a disagreement between the founding brothers about whether or not to sell cigarettes. One of the brothers, Karl Albrecht, worried that selling cigarettes would lead to more shoplifters, while the other, Theo Albrecht, was convinced that selling cigarettes would increase profits. Rather than reaching a compromise, the two siblings parted ways and created their own stores in different regions. The one that moved into the U.S. grocery market was Aldi South, which was owned by the brother who was against cigarette sales. So if you're wondering why you can't find cigarettes in Aldi in the U.S., it's because of a concern long ago over shoplifting. Aldi North didn't move into the U.S., but its parent company did buy Trader Joe's in the late 1970s. Even so, you won't find cigarettes at Trader Joe's either. When it comes to packaging and plastic, Aldi has been making a concerted effort to reduce waste as much as possible. The company has created an international policy that aims to move toward more sustainable package choices. Its approach involves the adage you hear often concerning sustainability, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Aldi will use minimal packaging to reduce waste and create more reusable packages. It also plans to use more packaging that comes from recycled materials that can further be recycled. Of course, these choices have to be weighed against food shelf life, quality, and safety. As of the end of 2023, you won't see any plastic bags for purchase in Aldi stores. In 2025 and beyond, everything you buy at Aldi will have packaging that you can repurpose, put in the recycling bin, or place in the compost pile. Since there will be 15% less overall packaging for products, there will also be less to compost or recycle. Also, an average of 20% of the plastic that Aldi decides to keep in its packaging will come from recycled materials like cardboard or plastic. If you need to return an item, recover something you've left behind, get a copy of a receipt, or make a complaint, you won't find a customer service desk at Aldi. Additionally, local phone numbers are unlisted and generally unavailable to the public. Not hiring a person whose sole job is to answer your questions and pick up phones saves the store and its customers money. Returns happen at regular cash registers, and you can ask any employee in the store questions. You can also ask to speak to a manager if you have issues like not getting the right change back. However, if you're wondering about store locations or hours, or if you have questions at home, you can find most of that information online on Aldi's website. The chain's online FAQ is extremely thorough, but if you are still unable to find your answer, you can always write an email or traditional letter to Aldi Customer Service in Batavia, Illinois. Well, that's the main customer service branch. While some grocery store chains have rewards cards that provide discounts when you use them, Aldi doesn't bother with that sort of program. The company avoids them because it wants to offer savings to everyone who shops there by simply keeping its prices low. You also won't see special promotions like buy one get one free because the chain doesn't think you should have to purchase an extra product to get a good price. The prices you see on the shelves and product labels are what you pay without having to worry about rewards cards, coupons, or buying a certain number of items to get a good deal. While some grocery stores have bulk goods you can pour or scoop into containers and weigh to purchase, you won't find any at Aldi. One reason may be so that employees don't have to take time to monitor, clean, and refill the bins. Another reason is that it's likely to get people moving through the store faster. For a long time, even most of the produce came prepackaged, so you wouldn't have to weigh it. With that said, we've seen a lot more individual pieces of produce for sale lately that have scannable labels. This change is likely part of the chain's commitment to using less plastic and less packaging. If you're a label reader, you'll notice that there aren't any artificial colors, hydrogenated oils, or MSG in any Aldi brand products. Aldi removed all three of these things in 2015 as a result of customer feedback. 
While the FDA has banned some dyes in the U.S., there are plenty that are banned in other countries that are still found in U.S. products. Healthline says some dyes the FDA hasn't banned have been linked to everything from children's hyperactivity to cancer. Plus, there are people who are allergic to certain food dyes. If you are trying to stay away from artificial food coloring, you'll find plant-based ingredients like turmeric, beets, and paprika adding color to products, rather than controversial and unsafe certified synthetic colors in Aldi brand foods. Per Healthline, hydrogenated oil has been linked to negative blood sugar levels, inflammation, and heart health risks. Thus, Aldi and many other companies have decided to remove this ingredient from their food products. MSG has been blamed for everything from headaches and sweating to more serious allergic reactions like abnormal heartbeats and difficulty breathing. Plan to have a stroke from the amount of MSG that's in this food. However, Healthline says this seems to only be for certain people who are sensitive to MSG, and that studies haven't indicated that MSG is dangerous for everyone. Still, Aldi listened to its customers and removed MSG from its products. It's important to keep in mind that these ingredients are absent from Aldi products and not necessarily the few name-brand items you may find in their stores.